The man can do whatever he wants with this magic remote. He can even turn himself green like the Hulk. However, there are dangerous consequences after getting this magic remote. The film starts with the protagonist, Michael, who works as an architect. He lives with his wife, Donna, and their children, Ben and Samantha. Before leaving for work, Michael attempts to help his children turn on the TV, but he cannot find the right remote. At work, Michael is consistently bullied by his overbearing boss, John, who makes him work more than necessary. As a result, he often chooses work over his family. One day, John offers Michael an amazing opportunity to design a luxury hotel for a Japanese rich old businessman. He also promises Michael a promotion if he can complete the contract. Michael is intrigued by the offer, but he remembers that his family asked for his time to go on vacation. After work, Michael arrives late for Ben's swimming race. He meets Ben's swimming coach, Bill, who seems to have a good friendship with Ben. Suddenly, Michael receives a call from John. While his family enjoys the fireworks, Michael spends his time on the phone talking with John. Seeing this, Michael's mother asks him to join his family, but he still ignores them. Luckily, Michael's father makes up for his absence by showing the children a magic trick. That night, Michael tells Donna that he has to postpone their vacation because he got a new job from John. Hearing this, Donna is angry with him. Michael eventually calms her down and decides to watch TV. Unluckily, he hurts himself after he mistakes Ben's helicopter remote for the TV remote. Because of that, an irritated Michael storms off to his car and looks for a retail store to buy a universal remote control. Everything is closed, except for the retail store Bed Bath & Beyond. Michael enters the retail store and tries to find the remote, but does not find one. At one point, Michael gets tired of looking for the remote and ends up collapsing on a bed. Upon waking, Michael sees a section of the retail store called Beyond. He decides to head in and finds himself in a long, dark corridor. At the end of the corridor, Michael meets a mad scientist named Morty. Michael says that he is looking for a universal remote. Hearing this, Morty immediately leads him to a warehouse labeled Way Beyond. Morty opens a giant box containing a strange remote. He then picks it up and gives the remote to Michael for free. As Michael is about to leave, Morty warns him that it can never be returned. Michael returns home and continues watching TV. After a while, Donna comes downstairs to tell Michael that she allows him to postpone their vacation. Michael pauses the TV with the new remote, but accidentally pauses time too, including Donna. He still does not realize this as he keeps talking to himself. Michael finally resumes time using the remote. Donna heads to her room upstairs, not knowing what just happened. When Michael starts working on the project design, his dog barks for no reason. As a result, a furious Michael grabs the remote and tries to lower his dog's volume by pressing the volume down button. To his surprise, his dog becomes muted. After Michael takes his dog out to do its business, he decides to try the remote again. Michael points it at his dog and presses the fast forward button. Consequently, his dog quickly gets its business done and goes back inside the house. Michael is shocked to learn that the remote can be used to control reality much like television. The next morning, Michael visits Morty and tells him that he knows what is going on. He thinks that he is on a prank TV show, but Morty says the remote is real. After pressing the menu button, Michael discovers that he can freely jump around his memories. Michael ends up getting emotional when he sees his childhood playing football with his friends. When the two exit the menu, Morty gives Michael his phone number in case he has any questions about the remote. Michael comes back home and finds Donna on the phone with his parents. He gestures at her not to let his parents come as he is very busy with work, but Donna eventually tells them to come over for dinner. At night, Michael uses the remote to fast forward through the family dinner until he comes downstairs doing his work. Shortly after that, Donna also comes down and the two start arguing. Michael decides to use the remote to fast forward through the argument and eventually finds Donna on the bed. Before having an exercise on the bed, Donna apologizes to Michael and asks him to massage her. Michael uses the remote again to skip that part, including their bed exercise. Surprisingly, he feels climaxed while Donna is left unsatisfied. However, Michael finds out that he does not remember the conversations he had or any commitments he made earlier. He then makes a late night call to Morty, demanding an explanation for it. Morty finally explains that during fast forward, his body is on autopilot. This means that he's going through his motions of everyday life, 
while his mind skips ahead. In other words, Michael seems to live a normal life, but he does not remember any of it. After this revelation, Morty walks back home while Michael finds he has a cold. Due to this undesirable situation, he uses the remote to fast forward through his illness. When he wakes up, Michael finds that he is recovered from the cold. Soon, he arrives at work and tells John that he has finished the design. John proceeds to give a meeting about harassment in the workplace. Meanwhile, Michael makes some fun of him by changing John's body shape. Later that night, Michael presents the design he made on an autopilot mode to the Japanese rich old businessman. At first, everything goes well until John unintentionally mocks Japan's baseball players, mistaking their name for Asian dishes. Because of that, the rich old businessman leaves the table and has a private conversation with his team. Michael decides to eavesdrop on their conversation and uses the remote to switch their language to English and turn up the volume. It turns out that they do not like Michael's design at all as they want more rooms in the design to maximize their profits. When they get back into the table, Michael tears up the design and uses the overhead conversations to win over the rich old businessman. The rich old man is happy to hear that and eventually grants the contract to John's company, thinking that John has promoted him, an elated Michael buys bicycles for his children. He buys a purse for Donna as well. The following day, Michael goes to work and meets John, who tells him that he has not been promoted. In fact, Michael will not be promoted until he finishes all plans for the luxury hotel, which will take him several months. Consequently, he is forced to return the gifts he bought for his children because he used debt to pay for their gifts. Michael used the remote to pause time and slap John in the face. He also farts in John's mouth before leaving the office. Michael visits Morty and plans to use the remote to fast forward to the time when he gets the promotion. However, Morty advises him against it for some reason. Michael comes back home and takes his anger out on his family. Realizing that he had let his family down, Michael uses the remote to skip ahead to his promotion and finds himself at his promotion party. He also learns that John needs an entire year to promote him. During this time, Michael and Donna have entered marriage counseling as their relationship began to strain. At that moment, Michael tries to explain that he was on autopilot, but no one understands him. As he and Donna argue, the remote automatically fast forwards. Michael finds himself having dinner with his family. He notices that Ben and Samantha have matured and expresses his love for them. Not only that, Michael also spots a new dog at his house. He asks Donna about his old dog and she reveals that the old dog has passed away. Michael breaks down in tears because he could not spend much time with it. He then promises Donna that he will change and become a better man for his family. The two eventually go to bed, but the remote automatically fast forwards to the end of their exercise. Michael finds Donna unsatisfied for the second time. He is getting confused by the remote which automatically fast forwards without him pressing any buttons. Later, Michael is startled to see Morty coming to his house out of nowhere. Morty finally reveals that the remote has learned Michael's preferences. The remote is going to fast forward according to Michael's previously recorded behavior. Michael is horrified to learn this and wants to get rid of the remote as Morty refuses to take it back. Unfortunately, every time he attempts to discard or destroy the remote, it somehow reappears. The following morning, Michael tries to avoid skipping time by avoiding all the activities that could trigger the remote. He even puts on a bathrobe and rides his bike to the office where he meets John. John tells Michael that he plans on retiring because he will travel to Morocco with his new girlfriend. This would make Michael the new head of the international division and he could even be promoted to CEO of the company. Not long after this, the remote automatically fast forwards 10 years into the future. At that time, Michael has become the CEO and is extremely wealthy. After he emerges from the bed, he discovers that he is morbidly obese and lives alone in a luxury apartment. Michael quickly returns home to find that his children have become moody teenagers. Ben is now overweight like himself, while Samantha is dating the hottest boy in their school. Moreover, Michael also learns that Donna has divorced him and remarried to Bill. Seeing this, Michael gets angry and quickly attacks Bill until he stops time using the remote. Morty suddenly reappears sitting on the nearby bench, stating that Michael still has time to win Donna back. Michael decides to write a note for Donna and then resumes time. However, before he can give it to her, the new family dog jumps on Michael and knocks him into a coma. The remote fast forwards six years into the future. Michael awakens in a hospital bed and finds Donna by his side. Donna reveals that after Michael went into coma, a CAT scan found a cancer in his body. Apart from that, he is no longer obese 
because he has undergone liposuction to save his life as part of his cancer treatment and subsequent heart attack. Sometime later, Michael leaves the hospital and heads to the company where he meets a full-grown Ben. Ben is also no longer obese and has been working out five times a week with Bill to lose the weight. Sadly, Michael learns that his father has died of old age some time ago. Hearing that, a devastated Michael immediately visits his father's grave and mourns him. After Morty reappears near him, Michael desperately uses the remote to see when he last saw his father. Apparently, his father came into the office and offered to take him and Ben out to dinner, but in autopilot Michael coldly rebuffed. When Michael returns to the present, Morty finally reveals to him that he is the angel of death. Michael quickly charges after him, but Morty disappears into thin air and reappears behind him. Overcome with guilt and shame, Michael asks the remote to go to a good place. The remote eventually fast-forwards him several more years in the future to Ben's wedding. While giving a speech to the bride and groom, Michael spots his mother there. He quickly approaches her and gives his mother a long kiss. Michael also meets Donna, and the two end up dancing together. At one moment, he overhears a full-grown Samantha refer to Bill as dad, triggering a second heart attack. Soon, Michael wakes up in a hospital to find Ben and Samantha there. Ben reveals that he skipped his honeymoon to help fix issues with the company before the two are told to leave. Not wanting Ben to make the same mistakes as he did, Michael gathers the last of his strength to emerge from the bed. He then follows his children out of the hospital, but they have gone quite a distance from him. Michael runs in the pouring rain, but ends up collapsing to the ground. Fortunately, Ben notices him, and all his family rushes to his side. In his final moments, Michael reminds Ben to put his wife before work. Michael also reassures the rest of his family that he still loves them. In the meantime, Morty tells him that his note is in his pocket. Michael manages to give it to Donna just before he passes away. Afterwards, Michael reawakens in Bed Bath & Beyond. He is overcome with joy after assuming that he was dreaming. Michael rushes back to his parents' home and embraces them. When he gets home, Michael also hugs his family and promises to spend more time with them. Later, Michael finds the remote on the table along with a note from Morty, who reveals that he has given him a second chance. Morty believes that Michael will do the right thing this time. The film ends with Michael throwing the remote in the trash, which does not reappear.